What's up internet, this is Hourglass Gaming. Today I've got some Destiny gameplay for you, and while we're watching that, I want to talk about my first impressions of the game. This isn't a fully thought out review, I just want to give my thoughts after having played the game for a few hours. I'll post a more considered review of the game in the near future. The first thing I want to say about Destiny is that it is absolutely beautiful. I always think it's kind of funny when a new game comes out and I'm blown away by how nice it looks, because in Halo, when Halo 3 came out, I thought that it would be impossible to make a game look any nicer. I was like, this is it, we've made games that look like real life, it can't get better than this. Yet I'm continually proven wrong, and Destiny is one example of that. The atmosphere of Destiny is spectacular, um, and on a couple of occasions I've stopped pursuing my mission just to look at the sky. Particularly if you're on the moon and you look up, it's absolutely amazing. So far I've only seen Earth and the moon, but both have gorgeous vistas and are a pleasure to look out on. But how does the game play? Well, it's clearly a Bungie game made with the legacy of Halo. The gameplay feels a lot like a Halo game does, but with more aiming, which makes me happy. Uh, you play an unstoppable monstrosity and are allowed to blow through columns of enemies like their paper until you run into something really powerful and then you need to strategize a little bit. The AI in the game is a little underwhelming. Different kinds of enemies seem to have pretty rigid behaviors and their actions are fairly predictable. Hive knights will stay at range and bombard you with their cannons, thralls will sprint straight in, and acolytes will use cover and suppressing fire to move from mid to close range. The behaviors don't seem to adapt and they aren't, as far as I can tell, modified by which weapons the enemies carry. Each enemy seems to carry one to two weapon types, which means that they all act in pretty much the same way. I don't so much mind this, uh, but it would be nice to see a game where balance is achieved through smart AIs rather than teaming hordes of enemies. This being said, combat is still a lot of fun. There is variety in the enemies, which is uncommon for shooters, and an array of abilities and weapons at the player's disposal makes combat a constant question of which weapon will I use next. Weapons are diverse but recognizable, and hopefully as the game goes on that diversity will only increase. Modern science fiction shooters tend to keep to weapon designs and functions that are similar to modern weapons, and have moved away from the kinds of weapons that we saw the Covenant wield in Halo. Um, there are however a lot of creative and gameplay opportunities in designing weapons that work in ways that we don't expect, so hopefully we'll see some of that in the future. So far I've been playing through the game alone, so I can't comment on class roles and dynamics and how they work together, um, but I'm currently playing as a titan, so I simply can't resist the draw of a tank class. So far the titan seems more like a brawler, I'm up close dealing damage and taking damage. And I think though as you get to higher levels, the class becomes more defensively focused. The multiplayer drop-in system is interesting and seems more functional than the open game system that the Borderlands series tried to use, um, though it is less committal. It doesn't lead to much teamwork, which is likely too much to expect from random strangers in the first place, but I've often been dropped into zones and seen other players who are clearly working on something entirely different from what I'm doing, um, and then we pass each other and we never see each other again. Where I do think their drop-in system works really well is in the public events. In the gameplay that I participated in today, I've gone through two public events, one to destroy a fallen spider tank, and one to defend the ghost while he retrieved information from a satellite-like object. Um, both were intense and brought with them a definite sense that success was not guaranteed, and a large number of players dropped in seamlessly, and then all of a sudden we were all part of this big um, battle with lots of people in it. I've only played one competitive multiplayer match so far, and it felt a lot like playing Halo multiplayer. Time to kill is longer than in games like Titanfall, but is still fast. Characters, The character's level is evened out so that it doesn't give anyone advantage, and the game is given variety by the different classes. Just from a first glance, it seems like the Hunter will be a strong PvP class. Sniper rifles don't seem to have much scope, sway, or drift when aiming, which makes lining up shots quickly much easier than it is in a lot of other games. Destiny's progression system in the game seems to give you rewards periodically without inundating you with items. It provides enough to make you make decisions without giving you so much that those decisions don't seem to matter. The ability and class upgrades change and strengthen the character gradually, and each level up prompts a small tweak in the way that you fight. So far, Destiny feels like a continuation of the playstyle that Halo created, but it definitely pushes that gameplay forward. 
The variety of weapons, class abilities, and enemies means that the game changes pace frequently. But what do you guys think? If you're playing Destiny, what do you think so far? And if you don't have it, what would you like to see more? That's about it for today's video, guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thousands of worlds taken by the darkness, and they've been seeding Earth for centuries, waiting for.